Hi boys and girls. I am going to go a little bit off the um, ABCs um, in the next few weeks uh, leading up until our Christmas um, time and share with you um, some very good and meaningful books that we read here in the Jacob's house around Christmas time. Um, our letter this week is S and I don't have a magnet to show you because when I did this lesson, I gave the kids a number of S's for uh, God. Sower, Shepherd, um, Strong Tower, Savior, and Savior is the one that we're going to focus on tonight because uh, in the book of Isaiah, the um, prophet says, uh, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, uh, Prince of Peace, Mighty God, Everlasting Father. Um, another one, of course, for S is Son of God. So tonight we're kind of talking about both of those. That in the book of Luke, um, an angel comes and visits Mary and tells her that she is going to have the Savior of the world. And he is going to be the Son of the Most High God. That's what people who celebrate Christmas as the birthday of Jesus, which we don't know when he was born. The Bible doesn't tell us that. Um, but it does tell us that we have a Savior and he was born and he is the Son of God. And we decided in our family that at this time of year when there are so many things about the birth of Jesus, that we would focus on that um, too. So I'm going to read you a book that has to do with um, him being our Savior and the Son of God. And just, just it doesn't come out and talk about Jesus, but the whole meaning and message of the book is the message of Jesus. Um, the name of the book is called The Spirit of Christmas. And now I'm going to flip this around so that you can see the pictures and not see me. The Spirit of Christmas. I had just nodded off at a quarter past four when the Spirit of Christmas stepped in through my door. With a great show of sparkles, he decked all my halls in tinsel and twinkles and bright shining balls. I was really quite fond of the trimmings he'd brought, but there's just something missing this Christmas, I thought. Look at the beautiful birds there in the tree. Sparkling snow. Bells, he said. Jingle bells. Bells, right away. Bells on a one horse galloping sleigh. A toy soldier band dressed in matching red sashes. Candy cane tongues and marshmallow mustaches. Everyone caroling songs of goodwill.
so merry that even the trees can't be still. You know, the Bible refers to that about how the all of God's creation sings his praises. You can read about that in Psalms. I shook my head. You are really so kind, but it's just not exactly what I had in mind. He spoke to me then in a whisper of wings. There are gentle things the season brings. Snow that lies quiet, as quiet as a mountain. And roads that all lead to your grandmother's house. Look at the fun this one's having. Ten lords a leaping as seven swans swim. Let's see if you can find it. There's a French hen. Seven swans are swimming, eight maids are milking, ten lords are leaping, nine ladies dancing, twelve drummers drumming, eleven pipers piping, five golden rings, six geese a laying. Um, let's go in order. We'll start over. Twelve drummers drumming. Eleven pipers piping. Ten lords a-leaping. Nine ladies dancing. Eight maids a-milking. Seven swans a-swimming. Six geese a-laying. Five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, but it's only showing one, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. I lifted my chin and stared up at the ceiling. I still wasn't getting that warm Christmas feeling. And of course, Santa Claus, I'm just getting to him. But I lifted my chin and stared up at the ceiling. I read that out of order. I still wasn't getting that warm Christmas feeling. That's when the spirit of Christmas smiled. Remember, this all began with a child because it took a thing, nothing but love to begin it. It's not really Christmas if love isn't in it. Your tree may be as large as the room will allow with a big yellow star on the uppermost bough. But of one thing I'm certain, I'm sure of one thing. It is love that makes the angels sing. And that's when I got it. That's when I knew the thing that was missing from Christmas is you. And so then, my darling, wherever you roam, may you always be safe. May you always come home. For as long as the world still spins and still hums, wherever you are, and no matter what comes, the best part of Christmas will always be 
you beneath my Christmas tree. You are loved. Let's close with a prayer. Dear Father God, thank you. Thank you for your son. Thank you that you unselfishly, lavishly loved us so much that you sent him from heaven with all the splendor and all the glory and all the power and brought him to earth as a tiny baby, vulnerable, helpless, dependent, but he was to be our savior. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name.